Welcome to the video walkthrough series for Artune PT. In this video, we'll cover real time readout panels, the fuel and ignition tables, load input channel selection, and calibration. Let's start by connecting to Powertronic. Hit the refresh port icon, select the COM port from the drop down, and hit connect. Verify the status. All right. Let's check the map that's running on the ECU by pressing Receive. Let's now load a demo map. We've covered this before and it should be pretty straightforward. We're going to select a map for a Ninja 250. We'll go ahead and send this new map to the ECU. Notice again that the status is always read out here. OK. Now let's look at changing these values. This process is the same for the fuel as well as the ignition table. Currently, we are on the fuel tab. You can select individual cells and type in the value. You can also drag your mouse across, like so, and select a grid of cells. You can now right click and select between set value, increase by value, decrease by value, copy, and paste. Let's tinker about a little bit. Click on set value. We'll set this at 10. Let's now select another grid over here and select decrease by value. We'll go with one here. This should reduce the value of all the cells within the selection by one. And there it is. Right. Now let's get this value to the ECU and turn the bike on. All right, let's pause there for a second. We instantly notice a few things. Firstly, we see these red cells dancing about. Well, that's the engine operating point moving about as I blip the throttle. This corresponds to the load here on the left, denoted in percentage, versus the RPM up here on top. Let's now look down here at the cylinder specific real time values. Over here, the original injector pulse width in milliseconds is read out. This is the fuel trim in percentage that's applied over it. This value corresponds to the value under the red cell in the fuel table. And over here, you have the ignition advance in degrees that's being read out similarly from the ignition table. We'll come back to this in a bit. Following along, you see the injector duty cycle in graphical format, followed by the injector and ignition statuses. We'll cover traction statuses and everything relating to traction control in a later video. The values in these two cells have a slight graphical aid as well. On the fuel trim, positive values are in green and negative values that make the engine run leaner than stock are in orange. Similarly, for ignition, positive values, which are advance over stock, are in orange, while negative values, retard over stock, are in green. Let's now look at the ignition tab real quick. The table is similar, though now these values correspond to degrees of ignition advance over stock. Let's change a few values here. Alright, since we want this map to be reflected live, let's hit send again. Let's hold up here a bit. We see here that the ignition advance being applied is 3 degrees over stock. If we look at the red cells, the exact operating point is somewhere in between and the values are being interpolated. And that value is currently, you guessed it, 3 shown here in real time. Now is a good time to talk about this section. This is the fuel trim control in percentage and this is ignition trim control in degrees. This allows you to apply an overall trim to the fuel and ignition table 
to specific cylinders. Moving on to the config tab. Here we have the option to select between injection pulse estimation and throttle position for load referencing. In our case, we have selected injection pulse estimate. Let me demonstrate the auto calibrate feature now. This works for both the options under the drop down. For the purpose of demonstrating the auto calibrate function, I'm going to go ahead and change the values here. All right, make sure your bike is connected and running. And now hit auto calibrate. Follow the instructions on the pop up window. Keep the throttle completely closed. And now blip the throttle from completely closed all the way open and back. That's it. The value is automatically updated to the ECU and will be reflected live. The extra two tabs over here, Fuel 2 and Ignition 2, are for on the fly map switching functionality. These are functional only on Powertronic ECUs with map switching. Alright, since I'm happy with all the changes I've made, I'm going to turn the bike off and press the burn button. And finally, disconnect. Well, that's it. Thank you for watching.